Damn, son, where'd you find this? Alright, y'all. So, basically, Cosmic wanted to post a video four days ago about the Avengers 5 and a roster reveal and no Spider-Man. Oh man. Um make sure you guys go subscribe to Cosmic Wonder and um let's see what's going on and um let's do it. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope your new year is starting off great so far. If it hasn't, I hope it gets extremely better for you. It only seems fitting that we kick off the new year, the first video of the new year, talking about the new Avengers team. And you might be kind of surprised to hear, like I was, that right now the new Avengers team does not have characters on it like Spider-Man or Thor and even more characters that we're going to go over in this video, but of course, there's a good explanation of why they are not a part of the team, but it doesn't mean that some of these characters won't still show up in Avengers 5. So let's dive into these new reports that we are hearing today. Also, I'll be announcing the winner of December's giveaway tomorrow, so stay tuned for our video. And of course, we're kicking off a new monthly giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below. The winner picks one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. It does continue on this year. So to start this video off, unfortunately, we have to mention the bad news first. Alex Perez over at the CosmicCircus.com, who is an incredibly reliable insider, has tweeted a lot of scoops for the new year. We appreciate that, Alex, but one of them is this. Avengers 5 is not coming out in 2026. What? There is still much work to be tended to and too much to be set up before they can dive deep into the upcoming Avengers movie. Now, of course, this is super unfortunate, but a lot of us really saw this coming. Avengers 5 was supposed to be Avengers King Dynasty. Well, Jonathan Majors, who played King the Conqueror, was just found guilty of two cases of harassment, and now Marvel Studios has let him go. Also, side note, I've heard some people state that some of these outlets who said he was fired didn't actually hear this from Marvel or Disney, but I can personally say that it is true. I have spoken to Disney and they have confirmed he is fired. They are okay. moving away from Jonathan Majors as King the Conqueror. They didn't comment on anything else, like if they're going to recast him or anything like that, but they did confirm to me that he is fired. Now, insiders have told us that they are planning to recast him, which does make sense why abandon the story of King when you're already halfway into it. But I'm now saying. that this has happened and they have to recast and they have to kind of change the story, and we've heard that Avengers 5 is no longer King Dynasty, well, that means that Marvel Studios has a lot to do for the next Avengers film. So it doesn't surprise us at all that this movie is not going to be coming out when it's supposed to come out. It's unfortunate, but I would rather have them get a really good story down for the movie and have the movie be really, really good. But Alex Perez continues and he stated, if the Avengers were to team up tomorrow, I guess the team would consist of Captain America, Captain Marvel, Falcon, Hulk, Wong, Valkyrie, Shang-Chi, Katie, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. Now let's talk about this team for a second. Sign Obviously up. you can hear that some of these characters that you thought would be a part of the new Avengers team are not a part of the new Avengers team. And okay. Alex Perez goes on to explain why. But let's talk about this current lineup. This is pretty much who you would expect to be on the new team. Sam Wilson's Captain America, Captain Marvel, of course. The new Falcon, who will be introduced in Captain America Brave New World. Who is going to be Joaquin Torres, who was introduced to us in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Hulk makes sense. He's been an Avenger for a while. He's one of the OG Avengers. Mm -hmm. Wong makes sense because he is the Sorcerer Supreme. Valkyrie makes sense as well because she is the King of New Asgard, which is on Earth right now. So if there's going to be an Earthly attack, it would make sense that she would be there with the other heroes to defend it. Shang-Chi and Katie kind of make sense. It makes sense that Shang-Chi is there, and after all, Shang-Chi was there with Wong at the end of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Katie was there as well, but she doesn't exactly have any powers, although she has become rather good with a bow, it looks like. She's kind of the only anomaly here, don't get me wrong. I loved her character, I think she's hilarious, yeah. but still, no powers and I should say no training, because characters like Black Widow and Hawkeye don't have powers, but they have extensive training. And 
then to top it all off, Ant-Man and the Wasp. It makes sense that they were there. They just dealt with Kang the Conqueror. And even if Avengers 5 isn't going to be about Kang, they still fought Kang. They still fought a multiversal threat. That should still be a part of the story, even if Kang isn't going to be the villain of Avengers 5. Recent reports said that Marvel Studios plans to kind of sweep Kang under the rug for the time being, meaning they want things to kind of fizzle out before they start mentioning him again and putting him on screen. And I understand that. However, you can't just act like what happened already didn't happen, especially if you are planning to indeed have Kang still be the main villain of the multiverse saga at the end. So I would really prefer for them to not act like it didn't happen, but to bring in another villain in the meantime and then get back to Kang. But as far as those missing Avengers that we thought were going no to be sense. a part of the Avengers 5 roster, Alex Perez goes on to explain a little. He says, on my Spidey, Thor, Daredevil and Doctor Strange are not on the team. He simply said this, Spider-Man, wait for Spider-Man 4. Thor, wait for Thor 5. Daredevil, wait for Spider-Man 4. And Doctor Strange is involved with Clea in another dimension. And I really won't expect him to show up for Avengers 5 if Doctor Strange 3 pans out, as I'm told it will pan out. Side note, he does say, I expect everyone and their mother for Secret Wars, but what I'm giving everyone is the current lineup available for the Avengers and Avengers 5 if it happened tomorrow. Notice how it's unbelievably underwhelming and lacking in members, which is why the film in question is getting delayed. Now he does go on to kind of further elaborate about some of this. He says, Spidey is disconnected following the events of No Way Home and what happens in Spider-Man 4, but he'll be there for Avengers 5. This sort of implies okay. that although Spider-Man might be in the movie, and in fact we've heard that he is going to be the lead of Avengers 5 and Avengers 6, even though he might be in the movie, he won't maybe be a part of the official roster for the Avengers. And since after No Way Home, nobody really knows who Peter Parker is, maybe the Avengers have mm, a hard yeah. time trusting him since they only know Spider-Man and not who is under the mask. And even if they knew it was Peter Parker, they don't know who Peter Parker is anymore. But Alex Perez is implying that a lot is going to happen in Spider-Man 4 that leads to Spider-Man not being officially a part of the Avengers 5 roster. The same thing goes with Daredevil, who we know is showing up in Spider-Man 4 as well. But it is nice to know that he still confirms that he will show up in the movie still. He will still show up in Spider-Man 5. But what is very interesting is that now it looks like Spider-Man 4 is going to release before Avengers 5. Whereas before, mm. we heard that it was probably going to come out between Avengers King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. But now it's coming out before Avengers King Dynasty, or as we're calling it now, Avengers 5. Now, as far as Thor Thor not being a part of the Avengers team in Avengers 5, Alex P says, wait for Thor 5 to happen, then we will understand why he's not a member of the official roster, and I would assume that Thor, after Avengers 5, and possibly during Avengers 5, is going to be off in the cosmos somewhere, doing something that is related to taking down the main villain of the multiverse. Perhaps he is out there trying to find the Council of Kings, or perhaps he is trying to find some cosmic entities, or some gods, possibly. If Hercules is still the plan for Thor 5, and he's going up against him, the gods are still going to be involved in some way, shape, or form. Plus, not to mention, he is, of course, a god himself. This is kind of what Thor did in the past with the Infinity Stones. He went out and he was seeking to find more knowledge about what exactly was happening. Sounds like something pretty similar is going to be happening with Thor in Thor 5 and the next Avengers film. And Chris Hemsworth has already mentioned that if he does another Thor film, which is already confirmed to be in development at Marvel Studios, he wants it to be a different tone. He wants it to be more serious. And this sounds like a perfect storyline, the entire fate of the entire multiverse to get serious about. And notice Alex does not say that he will show up in Avengers 5 at all. So Thor might be missing from the Avengers 5 film. Now for Daredevil, he stated, wait for Spider-Man 4 to see what happens with Daredevil and why he doesn't show up in Avengers 5 as part of the official roster. So clearly something happens in Spider-Man 4, which is said to be somewhat of a Civil War storyline that makes it to where Daredevil is not a part of the official Avengers team. Now we assume Daredevil is going to be on the side of Spider-Man, but anything can happen in this movie. And since we haven't really heard anything about Daredevil and Spider-Man 4 yet, our speculation would be just that, speculation. But if you have any theories, let us know your thoughts down below. And last but certainly not least, the one who seems to kind of be at the center of it all right now is Doctor Strange. Now, I've done a few videos about what the possible lineup for Avengers 5 could be, and I've never put Doctor Strange 
on those lineups because of the exact reason that Alex P states here. He's going to be involved with Clea in another dimension. Now we've heard a little bit about Doctor Strange 3 so far and apparently it's going to introduce the group the Black Priests. The Black Priests are a multiversal group in the comics who set out to protect the multiverse however they did this by removing extraneous earths from the multiverse. So some view them as villains and they have become more of anti-heroes especially since Doctor Strange joined them and became a leader of them. Now this of mm. course is coming from the story in the comics. What we've heard about Doctor Strange 3 it's going to be a little bit different. From what we've heard Clea is going to be a member of the Black Priests, and the Black Priests have decided that what? Doctor Strange and all of his variants in different universes are the real threat of the multiverse, which is something that was briefly touched on in Multiverse of Madness, where Mr. Fantastic right. said the greatest threat to the multiverse is you, referring to Doctor Strange. So that's what we know about it so far. Will Doctor Strange go on to become the leader of the Black Priests? That could definitely be possible since that happens in the comics. But mm. needless to say, it seems like he's pretty tied up right now, and that's why we probably won't see him in Avengers 5. But keep in mind, like Alex P said, this is as of right now. If Marvel Studios goes on to change things, which we're hoping that they do, then this roster could very easily change. But let us know in the comments, do you like this roster so far or would you like it to change? And if so, how would you change it? Who would you add? Who would you take out? Let us know all your thoughts. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things happening in the oh, MCU. Man. You can oh. find us on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like. And as always, thank you There's all so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to say anything too much though but um now if they gonna make Doctor Strange 3 like like this the situation like it sounds like it's gonna be very very dark than the the multiverse of madness um cause I'm like if they if, if they plan on gonna make it which they need, they, they had to make the movie, you know, because of the post credits, you know, uh, in, in the multiverse of madness. So, if they do that, I'm definitely going to see it, you know, because that's, I think that's like most important, you know, part of, of the, the multiverse saga, you know, um, with the black priests. Woo! Woo! I mean, like, I mean, I, I mean, like, I'm, I, I'm interested, you know, about, you know, uh, they should put black, black priests in, you know, in, the, in Doctor Strange three, um, but uh, and then as for Thor and Spider Man, and um, they're they're devil, and they, 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 they're not gonna be in, you know, in Avengers five, so, cause they, you know they got they got their own solo movie come out. You know, so, but um, like, that's that's crazy, that's crazy. Um, I I I don't see how they're gonna work without Thor, Spider Man, and Daredevil. You know, um, that's it's crazy. But um, I mean, like, cause, cause they did, you know, cause he did mention about the tri the Avengers trilogy. You know, like, why not? You know, name it Avengers Five. You know, Eternity War. And then, you know, Secret Wars Part 1 and Part 2. I mean, that will be like a trilogy to me. You know, which I am interested and they should do that. You know, so, and then instead of waste of, you know, the Kang Dynasty, like, which they literally announced it like a, what, what, like, a year ago? Or a year or two? Like, Come on now, come on now, but um, but we 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 we're gonna see what happened though, and you know in the future so. But um, but in the case that's it for the video for you guys. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. I see you guys in this video. You gotta be safe out there. God bless you all. See you guys later.